Okay, the DRX unit, the process for the multi beam is located here below the bench. The uh, transducer cable comes in and to turn on the unit, there's a power button, you keep it pressed. The LEDs light up, means it's booting up. Then, you can't see it now, of course, below the steps is the motion sensor. Really important to never move or remove it. Then outside, two antennas. Below this bench is the connection to the transducer, which is roughly below the gland. You can see the opening. Then we have the survey laptop. It's a rugged Dell. It has a power connector coming from the 12 volt. Two USB connectors for communication with the motion sensor. Ethernet connection for communication with the DRX processor. And to start the survey, we first have to start the WASP data manager. That should automatically connect. It sees the DRX now, so that's communicating. When that is started, we can start the Viking software. That will communicate with the DRX. Uh, to start a new survey, we can go to Managers, uh, Matrix Manager, and we create an empty grid, so we can log data in it. You can give any name you want, but of course it would make sense to have logical names for a project data location. After a file is made, you can set the cell size. Yeah, we usually do 25 centimeters, and it's recommended to enable all the other options. And then just press OK. Then we have an empty grid now, it's in the list. And it's important to set that empty grid as the survey matrix which will mean that all data coming from the uh, transducer will be logged in that grid. Then you have to close the matrix manager and basically you're all set. The system is in RTK, it checks that. If it's not, it will get warnings and it will stop logging. And basically all you need to do now is start sailing. And once you're in your server location, you can press the online button or press F5 to start logging and you'll see the screen getting filled with data in the matrix. So we're at the survey location now. So we put the boat into position and the next thing we're gonna do is enable the multi-beam. It's in the bottom bar. If this is not on the screen, you can also always toggle it with F9 or in the menu with bottom bar. So bottom bar is in view and we now do enabled, which turns on the, the multi-beam swath, as you can see. And we're not online yet, so it's not yet filling the matrix. But since the data is good and we're ready, we'll put it online. Just click on the online button. And as you can see, we start filling the screen. It's not very deep, so the swath isn't that wide. That is logical, of course. Color gradient is set to this working location. For now, it's all red, but of course, once it's deeper, it will turn blue. There's a lot of options in the software now to change color gradients, change backgrounds, load in background charts. Um, instead of having north up, we can always also say have the vessel up. That's all customizable, of course. Turn that back off, have north back up. And we have enabled, but that's also just an option that can be changed. You can see the black tracking line and the white and the purple one. The white and the purple ones are the outer beams of the survey, the multi-beam. And of course the black one is the center. Uh, these lines are uh, out of disappearing. I think they're set to one minute now, so they'll be on the screen for a while, automatically disappear. You can also have a fixed track that won't disappear. There's many, many options in the software. On the right hand, we have the right hand sidebar, which can be enabled, disabled with F10 or pressing the mouse fully to the right. In here, there's a few options. What's now running is the status viewer with timing, which if there would be any problems, gives a lot of information what the system is doing, how the raw sensors are communicating and the timing is working. 
rest out of the way to have full screen view. So for now it's just uh, surveying till the whole working area is done. So the survey is completed. Not a really big area, but has some nice features, some depths, some ridges, overlapping data. So that's done. So system is offline, red button. On the sidebar, pressing on the right, open the files. And I can now right click on the file we created. I can either save it in our own format or I can export it as a raw XZ file to be used in any other service system or on the dredger.